Hey guys welcome back to my channel thanks for coming back and thank you so much for joining me today a big thank you to all my new subscribers I appreciate each and every one of you there is a giveaway going on on my channel right now so go check that out to see how to enter and win okay so I haven't done a hair video for the longest time I haven't done a DIY for the longest time so I am back with another DIY in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my Shebe infused shea butter yes for this recipe we're gonna need coconut oil which promotes the scalp health fighting against problems such as insect bites lice and dandruff coconut oil also moisturizes dry hair adding luster shine and softness to the hair it also prevents hair breakage and split ends shebe powder on the other hand moisturizes and conditions the hair it also strengthens the hair and helps lock in moisture for longer Shebe powder can also improve the density of fine hair, giving the hair an appearance of thickness over time. Basically what you want to do is mix these two ingredients together and let the uh, Shebe infuse into the oil. You don't have to let your oil get this hot. My, I did went overboard with my oil. It doesn't have to be that hot. Uh, however, once you mix them together, you just want to put it aside and let the oil, you know, just infuse together with the uh, herbs of the Shebe powder. Afterwards, you want to go ahead and use a, you can use a cheesecloth if you have a cheesecloth. Uh, here, I was just using my wig cap, which is, you know, kind of worn out, but it did work for me. So use whatever you have, you know, around you. Just want to go ahead and, you know, you want to go ahead and strain the oil from the powder to have the uh, oil, which is the Chebe infused oil, which we need for the butter eventually. So once you've strained the oil from the herbs, you want to make sure you conserve those herbs because they are still really full and packed with a lot of vitamins and minerals that are going to be useful to our hair. So we're going to use that as a Shebe hair mask later. Now it's time to bring out the second star of this recipe, which is the shea butter. Um, this shea butter, I've had it for the longest time. Uh, my mom actually got me this when she went to Nigeria last year. And I've done a video of a DIY, uh, you know, a whipped shea butter for hair and skin, which you guys should check out because it is amazing. I've used that like during the winter. That's what I use for my skin and it is like, oh, amazing. So I'm going to link that down below. Uh, shea butter is filled with vitamins A, vitamins A and E along with essential fatty acids which are great for both your skin and your hair. Uh, the fatty acid also help increase shine and reduce the frizz of your hair. It may also help protect your hair from heat damage caused by flat irons and blow drying. So now what you want to do is basically just let that shea butter melt into the oil which is still kind of hot it's not like boiling hot but it's still kind of hot enough to melt the shea butter once you mix those two together just you know transfer your liquid into a you know a, a bottle in my case i had a 
uh, a small jar you can transfer it into a can whatever you feel you want to conserve this you know butter in just transfer it into that and let it you know put it in the fridge if you will you don't have to put it in the fridge you can just leave it out anyway and it will just you know solidify and then you have your shebe butter So this is the final result. This is my shebe infused shea butter. Uh, I left mine in the fridge for like a few minutes, like five minutes or whatever, and then you know took it out, and then it was well solidified. Uh, basically, it's like shea butter, only like enhanced with even more benefits, which include you know moisturizing and strengthening the hair. It encourages hair growth and length retention. So it is even like even better than just shea butter. Shea butter is amazing, but like shea infused shea butter is like you know heaven for your hair. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe like the video share the video and uh yeah so stay tuned for more diys because i've been slacking you know on my diy video videos lately but i am ready i am prepared and i'll be releasing many many videos diy related so stay tuned for that thank you for watching see you on the next one bye